What's up, geeks and gamers? It's Jeremy coming to you with another video, and today, oh boy, I love this story. This is a good story. This is a really good story. You know why it's a good story? Because it continues to expose their hypocrisy. Oh, it's okay. It's okay to pull the race and the gender card when we're talking about white males. Oh yeah, Disney, Marvel, Lucasfilm, they could do that all day long. We can sit there and highlight white men and straight white men and talk about how they're getting too many roles. We can identify them based on race and gender all day long when it's the white men. But as soon as you call the female Thor a female Thor, suddenly, no, 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 you cannot use identity politics. You can't call her a woman. We can't focus on her race and her gender and her sexuality. No, 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 no. We have to refer to her as Mighty Thor. No, we don't. We can do whatever we want, and I will continue to call her a female Thor just to aggravate you now. Uh, don't call her female Thor. Natalie Portman will be the mighty Thor, says Taika Waititi. Um, now we know why Taika Waititi uh, had to put Akira on hold. San Diego Comic-Con saw the uh, writer-director's newest uh, Thor movie, Thor Love and Thunder. God, it's such a bad title. Get a full announcement alongside its newest superhero, Natalie Portman. That's right, Jane Foster would be taking over the God of Thunder's role per Jason Aaron's The Mighty Thor comic. So while the font uh, for the film's title was inc uh, already incredible, it's... Twisty New Hero has already set the internet a buzz. Yay! Um, however, some fans may be using a misnomer. Just because this new Thor happens to be a lady doesn't mean that's what defines her. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Now, now, I did now the identity, the race, and the gender doesn't define them? That's all you mother effers have been using to identify and define people is based on their race and their gender. And now, now you want to sit there and change your own rules? Again, SJWs eating each other alive. It happens all the time. These crazy people are the ones that have used race and gender to define people, not anything else. We've heard Kathleen Kennedy sit there and say that she was, oh, she was so upset because there was too many or there were too many men in the visual effects industry. We've heard people from Lucasfilm say this, sitting there going, basically generalizing and identifying people based on their race when it's a white man because there's too many white men in this job industry. Now suddenly, now suddenly we cannot use a woman's identity to define her. Uh, this is this is hilarious. Um <sighs> There's Taika Waititi's tweet. Correction. She's called Mighty Thor. Uh, well, that'll get you a lot of woke points on Twitter, Taika Waititi. Uh, nice. While it's unclear how much of the storyline will be used in the movie, already promising to find a queen for Valkyrie's king, um, the Mighty Thor takes a her heroine on quite a roller coaster. This is on top of the already infecting those uh, like OG Avenger Chris Hemsworth, source author Aaron, and yes, every woman on Twitter. Um, Love and Thunder. That is so bad. That is so bad. Oh, and does Natalie Portman not look completely? She looks so uncomfortable. She looks so uncomfortable. This is going to be a disaster of epic proportions um yeah i mean here's like everybody just you know yada 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 and so again uh to the point let's see where are we at to the point of the latter foster wasn't exactly the strongest role in the mcu so portman's quick return to the franchise was perhaps surprising to some fans but according to marvel studios head kevin feige she was instantly back on board as soon as the man behind ragnarok gave her the idea feige told et that when Taika uh, had his idea and pitched it to her she was in right away looks like there is uh looks like there if there is any bad blood, it was all cured with the little dose of love and thunder. Oh, so cringe. Just so cringe. So again, we get back to it. These people, they, they are the ones that have introduced identity politics into the equation. They are the ones that have defined people specifically on race and gender. They are the ones that make their casting decisions based on these things. They don't make decisions, story decisions, uh, you know, narrative decisions. They don't make any of that based on what will complement the story. They have built it around race and gender. That is their number one goal 
when they are making these films and casting these films. And now, now that they have given us a female Thor, we're not allowed to call her female Thor because we're not allowed to use the gender to define someone. I will continue to call her a female Thor. I will always call her female Thor simply because you're trying to tell me I can't and I'm not supposed to. Um, that is the number one way to continue to get her to be called female Thor. So Taika Waititi, you have failed miserably here. You, you are definitely not going to get what you want because she is a female Thor. An identity politics narrated, uh, narrative driven forced agenda female Thor. That's what she is, and it's going to be a dumpster fire. Uh, the entire the, the entire premise of this movie is f oh, it's it's unbelievable. But that's where we're at. Female Thor, female Thor, female Thor, female Thor, female Thor, female Thor. What are you gonna do about it, Taika Waititi? What are you gonna do about it, huh? What are you gonna do? I will continue to call her a female Thor, and there's nothing you can do about it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. You guys have a great day. Thank you very much for checking out this video, and we will talk to you later. Hey everyone, it's Jeremy from GeeksAndGamers.com, and if you're a fan of Geeks and Gamers, please go to our website, visit our merchandise store. We have t-shirts, hoodies, hats, beanies, tank tops, and in the very near future, we're going to have many more products for you to choose from. So thank you for the support. We appreciate it. You guys have a great day, and we will talk to you later. Thank you.